Hello and welcome to to Super Mario Second Land. That's what you're being welcome back to. On the last episode, we burned down an idol to this man's vanity, and we did a cool arson, and now the Mario Zone no longer exists in this video game, and I'm not going to walk up there and show you because it's a little messy, but I know you guys believe me that we did a cool arson. And in this episode, whoa! We Turtle Zone! And I'm actually just going to leave and let the, the turtle re-eat us so you can hear the noise, because I like the noise that happens when it eats us. And I wanted you guys to experience that without me being a dipshit over it. So welcome to Turtle Zone. The first zone of Turtle Zone is just a fun little, like, water romp. Uh, and you'll notice I am Bunny Mario. When I was not Bunny Mario at the end of the last episode, I went to the casino to get it. Because uh, I believe you need Bunny Mario to get up into this, like, big island uh, in the middle? In about the middle-ish of the of the level, um, there may be like some hidden blocks you can hit to get up here, but I couldn't find them. Uh, so you know, we just we just became Bunny Mario, so we get up here and have a good old time. Uh, and I actually would like to get that fire flower, um, so I'm probably just gonna end up wasting our uh, our star. But that's fine, you know. Well, we don't deserve the amount of lives we have anyway, so we'll just continue on with our. Our, our life as is. And now that we have fire, it's super cool because we can, you know, cook some fish down here. And maybe there's some fish that are too cool to cook. Like this shark with boxing gloves. Such a, oh, actually, I should shoot fire at it. Show you, he's too, he's too spicy a boy. He's too chill to be gotten with the heat. We, we're throwing some spice on him and it's sing off of him. He's too, he's just too cool. It's like a mango nada, you know, he's, he's just like a, he's like a spicy but chill drink. It's very good. Mango nada, oh man, I want a mango nada now. I'm also a little hungry. Um, I probably should have eaten before I recorded, but whatever, it'll be fine. It's gonna be good. My stomach just growled. Hopefully I didn't show up in the thing, cause that'd be gross. Um, so yeah, you know, we're in, we are, we're in the fish the fish zone. It's turtle zone, but uh, so we, we're getting some new fish, like these puffer fish boys who will inflate and like go up like a balloon, which is very cute. Um, whenever you get by them, we got the, the very good sharks with boxing gloves, which sh shark with boxing glove is one of my favorite Digimon. Uh, honestly, I, I would catch him if that was how Digimon worked. I don't I don't think you capture Digimon. Typically in the show, the, the Digimon just end up kind of working with the partners. Like it's some kind of like destined thing. Like, oh, hey, kid, I'm here to be yours now. Um, and I don't know much about the video games. I had Digimon World 1 as a kid, but I didn't have a PS1. I had a PS2. I didn't have a PS1 memory card, so I never made a lot of progress in that video game. Um... Uh, but you also just kind of got a Digimon in that one. I don't think you got more. I don't. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, this level's not very all. It, it's not very all that difficult. That's how words work. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and let the the shark, uh, you know, take a bite out of me because he deserves it. Um, also, so we can come down here and see what these blocks are. And you know, it's it's a life. It's always a life. That's what the bonus typically is gonna be. You know, sometimes they give you the coin bags, but more often than not, it's just the lives. Oh shoot! And we're so close to 999 coins. Um. <laughs> If only we could get, like, four coins in this mini game. If I could just, like, you know, grab this, like, three life and then just be like, okay, here's three coins. Oh, and three coins wouldn't be enough, though. I need four. Why did I say, hmm, even if we could trade a life for a coin, it would not be enough. So, um, oh, it'll be fine. We're not going to be in this level for, forever because this level has a secret exit. It's actually pretty close to the start. Um, so it'll be, it'll be cool. It'll be good. And, you know, let's just, let's just gun for the, the exit. Um, I think there'll be coins on the way. And then we can actually explore this lever, lever uh, proper. We can, we, can, we can pull the lever proper whenever we come here to do the level proper. Y you know how it is. And at some point I started swapping lever and lever of uh, words. You know, they, they work somehow. Um, we're just going to continue onwards. And we want to be the tiny boy. But you know, the, you know the, the four modes that you have in this game. The Super Mario, you have Fire Mario, you have Bunny Mario, and you have Little Guy. We went over this earlier. It's the, it's the Holy Quadinity. Uh, man, I, I looked up the word for, for Trinity for four uh, the other day, and I've already forgotten it, but that's fine. We're just going to continue onwards, unimpeded by uh, everything, and I hope I can find two more coins before we get out of the level. I thought there'd be some money up here, but maybe maybe there is not money up. You know what? Let's, let's turn around, because uh, this leads us straight to the exit, and I don't remember if there's money, and I'm just going to wait for this sword to pop down. don't entirely know what this is supposed to be, um, but it'll scare us and instantly kill us, because you got to be a little guy to get back here. You know, it's got to be a, just a wee little dude, just a just a wee smackerel of the Super Mario. Um, so let's go ahead and come over here and just grab some coins before we're just super disappointed about our coin amount once more. Oh, so this worked out uh, well. I was worried we were going to have too many, too many money, you know? It's a thing that you worry about because we can't increment past the 999. Uh, we're also coming up on the life cap. I think the life cap's 99. I don't think it does, you know, hex things like, oh, you know how I have like one 
A money or A1 or, you know, anything like that. I don't, I don't remember how hacks works, even though I work with it almost every day, which is very bad. Um, but it's fine, you know. Sometimes you just don't remember how things work because you're dumb. And, you know, you just mostly use the same things over and over again. So you forget how they actually function. I didn't want that bonefish to get me. Um, see, that's what I was... That's what I was worried about. But it's fine, because now we get to go spend our money uh, and not have to leave. Um, oh, because we w actually wouldn't have been able to leave, because this would take us to the bonus zone, and we'd be stuck in the bonus zone. So that was a blessing in disguise, actually. Thank you, Skullfish. Skullfish, also a very good Digimon. I, I, You know, Skullfish could also be a Pokemon, you know, like a dark water type or something like that. Um, and, you know, there's always already Carvana, but, you know, you know how it goes. And hooray, we hit 99, so we may be at the life cap. Which is, you know, always a good thing. You, you always want to be at the life cap before you go into a bonus area. It's just just how video games work. Uh, and I'll, I'll meet you guys when we're back in that tunnel. Whoa! Okay, back in the tunnel. And this tunnel leads us straight to the bonus zone. And we just, we just gotta make it down without being stabbed by anything, without being poked by anything, without being blessed by anything. Um, and see, it would have been great if the, the skullfish had come on the screen right as I said that. But, you know, it didn't work out that way. Um... So you move kind of slowly so these, these like, sword things can be kind of a pain in the ass. Because, you know, they come down in set intervals, and if you're too slow at going through them, um, you know, they can get you. But you, it, it kind of makes you nervous because you don't want to do the swim because it gives you some... Ah, oh, damn it. I thought we'd be safe. He unblessed us this time. Okay, you know what? He deserved that. He did us a favor last time, so he deserved whatever he does with the dead Marios he collects. Of which he has to. Okay, Mr. Fish. We're, we're, I feel we're about even now. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a chill. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna wait too long because last time I waited too long and he got the better of us. We'll just swim over him. So it's all cool in the hood. And now we should be approaching the end of the hallway. And unfortunately for uh, Shark with boxing gloves, he can't come up or down, so he can't get us. Uh, oh damn! It didn't happen this time. Sometimes whenever you hit the edge of that screen, Mario pops out in an odd way, like he's trying to pop out of the water. But you don't ever pop out of the water horizontally, so it's just a little bit interesting to see. Um, and here we are for the bonus for Turtles on the last bonus in the game. And it's on the overworld too, which is very cool. It's funny that the, the levels on the far right all have their levels, like their bonus levels outside of the actual zone. It's interesting. But you know, this one still keeps with the kind of like beachy theme. Oh man, we didn't swap to Luigi. Oh, that's fine. Cause we can just, oh wait, no, murdering Mario doesn't, no wait, no, this is going to kick us back to Turtle Zone, right? That's how this works. No, I didn't learn anything. I didn't learn anything from the last episode. No, god damn it! I made the thing happen where he pops out of the water. It's you know, it's not like anything like particularly special, but I just thought it was interesting. I saw, it. I was like, oh hey, that's kind of weird. And now I'm gonna hit the button that swaps us to Luigi, so we can use Luigi for the very last time in the very last bonus level as we enter a thing where I, I just, I in my heart of hearts, I was like, I'm gonna hit the stupid, I'm gonna hit the stupid spikes, and I'm gonna cry, and it's not gonna be good. So this is a fun little level where it's going to spell out something secret for us. Hoo, hoo, hoo. So keep your eyes peeled and see if you can figure out what the secret is. So I have a feeling as if we had, if we were to jump in the incorrect spot, some hidden blocks might appear that might change the nature of this excellent letter. The letter W, very good letter. So, you know, we're, we're just going to leave it alone. You know, why not? We're just going to continue onwards. We got an A, we got an R. So we got W-A-R. Interesting. Uh, now we're coming up on the letter I. W-A-R-I. Wari. It's similar to the Japanese word warui. It's missing the U, uh, mind you, but interesting. Wario? Like, like, the big man himself? Wario? L-A-N? What's the last? Could the last one be D? Wario Land? Wario Land 2? Wario Land 2 confirmed, baby! It's it, Wario Land 2! It's a great game! That was one of my first video games that I owned. Like, I had played video games before that because my dad had an NES. But that was one of the first video games that was mine. That's what endeared me to the big man himself for all this time. This game knew. It knew, like, hey, Wario Land 2, that's the real shit. So, hey, that's a cool bonus area where it, where it uh, you know, advertises Wario Land 2 like 10 years in advance, which is definitely the intent of that level. I'm certain. I will hear no alternative arguments about the nature of uh, that level. And now we can come back to the submarine level, and we can actually talk about this level as it is. Now that we're we're done with bonuses, we're done with Ouija's, uh, we're 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 just we're just mono e mono Mario e Wario. But 
the the e war warrior he ain't, ain't he ain't here yet he'll, he'll be here soon uh but but uh actually i want to stick with firefly the firefly will be more uh useful in the water i'm out swim the bullet make it despawn itself you know, you know how it does whenever someone shoots you if you run far enough away from the bullet it'll despawn um so the submarine reminds me a lot of the level design um in wario land um which i mean to be fair uh, wario land uh to a hat just straight up has a submarine level no, no, it's a pirate ship, isn't it? Yeah, it's it, it is yeah, cuz it's um it's the SST cup. I was about to say it's the same thing for um Warrior Land 1 as well. There's it's just the SST cup you go into. For some reason in my brain, I was thinking about it as a submarine. I think cuz in Warrior Land 1, the interior of the uh of the SST cup kind of has like a bit of a metallic thing going on, um which kind of makes me think, "Oh, submarine." Also cuz it's I think there's flooded segments in it. I don't No, 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 there aren't any flooded segments in it and um Warrior one, I don't believe. I think it's just a weird thing where you run away from, or it loops back on itself in an interesting way. I think, I think that's the level I'm thinking of. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not very smart, um, but I, I think that is the level. I think I am right about that. Um, but yeah, it's just a level design. You know, it's more, it's more maze-like. Uh, like it's pretty straightforward. Like you know, sometimes you just get branching paths. But you know, it's a bit more maze-like than the 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 games levels tend to be. Like they're you know, you'll find branching paths, but for the most part, the levels tend to be decently linear in this game, and that's not even, like, to be like, oh, well, Warrior Land's better. I mean, Warrior Land is better, mind you, um, but, you know, I'm not saying, like, Warrior Land's better just because this one is a linear piece of garden. No, um, you know, it's just the, the levels in this game tend to be a bit more linear, and this one is still pretty linear, um, but the, just the, the nature of it, like, kind of wrapping around on itself, um, and kind of just being a bit more of a maze, uh, and also just, oh, I'm in a ship filled with water just makes me think Wario Land, um, because of, uh, the alternate chapter for, um, uh, shoot, the ruins at the bottom of the sea, the first one, wherever you do the SST cup, but now it's filled with water, uh, which is a very cool thing, um, now I just got Wario Land 2 on the brain, thanks to, you know, the, the in-game advertisement for it, which I'm sure, uh, Toras saw, and they were like, yeah, this is the, here's the advertisement for this video game, Toras had nothing to do with that, man. It's just, there was just an ad for Warrior Land 2 in this video game, inexplicably, way before its release, and or the release of Warrior Land 1. They were, they were just, they were just mad horny about like, yeah, Warrior Land 2, what's happening, baby? Oh, can we not go in this one? Let me line myself up better. What if I stop pressing it? No, I guess, maybe that's an exit pipe. Maybe we'll come down this pipe. Oop, I'm just gonna crouch. Yeah, like, may, oh, oh, we have to be the, the, oh, we have to be the little guy to get in there, actually, don't we? Can I... Okay, well, we can't get back. I want to see what happens whenever we get that fire flower, because that fire flower will make us grow. Um, what happens when we hit this, too? Oh, it's become, yeah, that, that makes sense. I was like, if something appears in there, it's going to be stuck in the wall. But, you know, obviously, you know, the thing would would just be a coin. That That's what makes the most sense. Okay, so we come in here. We become... Oh, it, just, it literally just, like, forced me back out. Like, like Mario just, like, moonwalked out of it. That was really cool. Um, very interesting. I wonder if they put that there because someone had to program that. Like, oh, what if you, what if you get a power up in a zone where, like, you can't grow? So they probably had to program specifically, like, oh, well, this will force Mario out of there safely. And then maybe someone's like, wait, we made this cool thing, and now you'll probably never see it in the game? I'm gonna make them see it, damn it! Because I worked hard on this, um, and I just looked at our coin count. We're coming up on 200, um, so we'll probably be able to do the the other gambling game. Uh, but there's no way in hell we're going to acquire, like, 700 coins uh, before the end of the zone, since we have... Uh, just this and the last level. Um, cause, wait, this is... No, no, we have two more levels, don't we? Maybe... I, I don't know. I don't remember. I think... No, no, no. It's... I, th I think this is a four-level zone. You got one, two, three, and special. Yeah, okay. I was like... I was like, oh, there's, there's, there's four levels and then special. But no, I was just... I was conflating special as one of the, the levels. And before we could grab on those... Oh, okay, the elevators take us up to the goal. See, this is kind of what I mean. Like, a lot of the... Oh, that was mean. I was about to say a lot of the things in this game... Oh, is this going to go too high? Is this going to go back down? Ah, oh, here. I'm going to jump off this. Okay, yeah, it goes back down. Okay, cool. So, one of the things in this game is, like, a lot of the... the exit goals are easy because you can just do them as many times as you want this one like you know they put spikes at the top to kind of screw you if you go too high and also you know you can redo it by jumping off but you know there's at least a little bit of risk to doing it like if you're not careful it can it can get you and i'll go ahead and accept your three bonus lives um how many lives do we have i think we were we were at the the cap right we we're at 99 we'll, we'll see when i really leave the level or maybe we won't because you don't see the hud oh i wanted to pause the game but that's fine um it, 
I, yeah, I did hit the pause button. Oh, yeah, just start it, when, whenever you're on a level and you hit start, it, ex it enters the level, excuse me. Um, but yeah, we're at the cap. 99's the cap, and now we're inside of the whale. Welcome to Monstro. I think I, I, Monst Monstro's the, the the Pinocchio whale uh, that, that you do the Kingdom Hearts in. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts 1 in forever. I don't think I even made it to Monstro when I played Kingdom Hearts 1. So I, I hit a level and I just I was I got stuck and just stopped playing. But then I played Kingdom Hearts 2, and I still haven't played Kingdom Hearts 3. Maybe I will one day, who knows. I'll probably wait for like whatever DLC BS to come out, then they'll make like a final extra Kingdom Hearts 3.1 version or whatever the fuck. Um, hey, because, you know, talking about Kingdom Hearts is exactly what we should be talking about. Um, and also, I'm not going to super date this whenever I'm like, you know, oh, the Kingdom Hearts DLC. And then someone, like, 20 years from now will come and comment on this video like, it was foretold, the DLC! Um, you know, you know how it goes. But yeah, you know, we have just a cute little, like, Aesthetically, like, oh, we're inside the whale. A lot of, like, little spikes you can jump into um, that are bones. The other word for spike, you know, bones. You got these cute little Goombas and diver helmets. Also, you have the return of, like, the sap. Like, the tree sap is now just this, like, weird gunk. Like, this is this is water, but whenever you hit the, like, pink, like, intestine lining, like, looking shit, like, that's just, like, the tree sap. Like, me mechanically, it's the tree sap. Uh, I wouldn't say it is literally tree sap. Um, there's a lot of coins we could get. Um... Well, I say a lot, but not like a lot, a lot, like, you know, like 20 coins we could get. And here we are at the end of Turtle Zone. We get to fight the boss of Turtle Zone, an octopus! And so the octopus is going to poop out little babies, and the babies can hurt you if you hit them from the sides, but if you hit them at the top, they act like a little spring. Also, the um, the uvula-looking thingy-majigs at the top, the ones that are outlined, are um, they have collision. So if you hit them, you'll like, it doesn't hurt you, but it's, it's just like a little wall to kind of stop you from, I guess, jumping over the enemy. And oh man, the, the, uh, the, the babies kind of home in on you. Like when you're above, they go up. Whenever you're below, they go down. That's kind of interesting. Or maybe I was just getting unlucky with their patterns. Once again, like none of the bosses in this video game are particularly rough. Well, thus far, uh, none of the main bosses, the final boss, you know, perhaps the final boss will be a more difficult challenge than one would expect. But there we go, we have all six golden coins, the keys to Wario's castle. Also, I just want to note that it just dawned on me that it's weird that that door says Mario Land 2. Um, it, like, like, I get it, this is the video game, but, oh my god, maybe this is literally Mario's second land. Maybe there was a Mario land somewhere else. What if Mario's, like, the ruling region of Sarasa land, and he came back because he was like, Oh, uh, an alien attacking a Maya daisy! Oh, no who? And that, oh my god, fan fiction writers, rev up your engines, because we got a hot one on, on, coming on for you. So that's... That's the episode. We're done with the, the 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 episode is done. We've we've done all the zones in the video game, which you know we we here we'll, we'll I'll, I'll show you I'll show all of the zones to you. We did we did tree zone. We conquered tree zone. We went to hippo. We didn't conquer the hippo because we instead conquered space. And then we went to macro zone and we conquered that. And then we went to super pumpy land and we conquered that. And then we conquered the Mario zone, which we then burned down so you can't see it anymore. And then we conquered turtle zone. So we're all good. We're ready to move on to our final challenge. Wario's castle, which we will enter in the next episode. I will see you guys then for that. I don't want to have to hurt Wario.